Trapped within this desert wasteland, the sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not going to end like this. I'm going to find my way out of here. I swear it. Sure, he's in this backwards bumpkin town. The information came from a credible source. He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Desert Claw? He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rock. Don't worry, he's somewhere on this planet. My instincts are infallible. Like I'm gonna trust a robot's instincts. I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, all right? Really? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him, so you'd better come through on this. I know, I know. Tuckered out, huh? You did well, boy. Two medium-sized mish. Okay, pal, you met your quota. And here's your pay. Huh? Is that all? Can't you spare a little extra? We didn't bring that much with us, you know. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rations. <laughs> I'm not doing this for my health, you know. This is all that I got today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna let them get away with it? No, no. Don't get so worked up over it. It's been two years since Rosa's been under Longardian rule. They're still struggling to get used to this place. We'll get our chance soon enough. Oh, man. 
Why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? Uh, it used to be such a peaceful planet. The Lone Guardians aren't all bad, though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. But the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. What the? Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Jaster, wait. Don't worry, I'll behave. Thing? This is bad. It's heading for the residential area. Huh? Damn. I'm surrounded. Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. They just rode in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these chumps off first. Here we go! You're pretty strong. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm-up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. More importantly, the big fella went off toward the residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000? What are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. Things start to get hairy up ahead. Use the transporter. Know your way around it.
something's wrong here. There's just too many beasts. some sort of strategy. Awfully noisy all of a sudden. It would appear a beast has invaded the town. What luck! The Desert Claw would never pass up a chance to score a load of points like this. Let's go check it out. Are you bonkers? It's way too dangerous. Come on, this way. Hey, uh, wait for me. Now we go our separate ways. What? What do you mean? I can't go with you anymore. Sorry. Just go into the residential area and take down that big brute. 
Hey, hold on a second. I can't take that thing out by myself. You don't think so? Here, try this. It's much better than that butter knife of yours. What's this? A battle recorder. It'll capture the fight from start to finish. You ought to get a lot of points for bagging that fella. Go on, take it with you. See you later. No, wait! How can you just leave me here? Damn it. Fine. You can't scare me. Bring it on. Fellas. Here we go. Mission accomplished. Let's head on back. Come on, come on, you too, mister. Whoa, wait a second. What are you trying to do? Look, I've got to take care of that beast up there. You're in my way. Ah, why bother? I mean, it's such a chore. Come to our ship, and we'll give you all kinds of sweet jobs that beat the pants off plain old beast hunting. Come on. Ah, uh, knock it off. I have to go now, or that thing is gonna destroy the town! Let me go! That's our Desert Claw, a man of unbending determination. Ah, whatever you say. We'll accompany you on your hunting trip, but when this little escapade's over, you're coming with us. Is that a deal? Huh? Why should I? Then it's settled. Let's be on our way.
floor to the residential area.
That was a cinch. <gasps> Better head to the residential area. like that come here. Residential areas beyond here. Gosh, he's not a quiet fella, is he? Must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. There it is. That is certainly a big monster, all right. Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. Jump on its back and hack away! 
Isn't it obvious? Are you nuts? There's no way. Hang on. I've got just the thing for this kind of situation. What's that? I'll tell you later. Watch this. What the? That's my monography shot. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. But remember, you must equip the monography shot first before you can use it. Now's your chance. Go get him, Mr. Claw. is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast, and later on you can turn it in for points. Now finish off the beast by yourself. After all, it's your prize. All right. Then here goes. Its heart has stopped, but it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. I get the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. Is he really Desert Claw? I suppose looks can be deceiving. A real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Just as I thought, his potential may be greater than my own. So listen.
Listen, Mr. Claw. You got a real name or something? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Jaster, eh? Good. It's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? You're Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to hire me, exactly? Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa. A pirate among pirates. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean, you guys do space travel? Of course. We're big-time pirates. We travel all over the galaxy. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me... up in space? Yeah, I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues, and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You are made for the pirate life. To find our ship, you need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta! <sighs> I wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not Desert Claw.
Those space pirates, are they really... Captain Dorgan Goa, huh? <gasps> it was outside the Western Gates, right? I'll take you on. We're not done yet.
wonder if they'll ever realize I'm not Desert Claw. Those space pirates, are they really? Here they come! Get it done. It was outside the western gates, right? Dorgan Goa, huh? Jester. Uh, Raul, what are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. Me? Stop you? I... I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raul. What do you say? I'm sorry, Raul. Thank you so much for raising me and taking care of me. Well, I'm off. Wait. I always knew this day would come. Do you remember when you were just a boy? We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um... I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I, Raul? Huh? Can I? Of course you can, Jaster. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. Self-assured, straightforward eyes. I don't think I could stop you if I tried. Go, Chester. But I want you to remember something. You're the only family I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. Raul. I'll be waiting here for your return. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Raul. Someday, I'm gonna save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here. Hoping and praying for your success. Take care of yourself, Jester.
So that's Dorgan Goa's ship, huh? And so comes the end of one long day. Come dawn, I'll be leaving this planet. Something up there is waiting for me. I can feel it. And that's why... I'm going into space. It's almost morning. Hey, Chester! Over here, big man! Hey! Whoa! Uh, what gives? Uh, uh, uh. What the?
Now that's what I call a close shave. Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself. We didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later, I swear. It doesn't matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there. You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time. That's Desert Claw for you. Listen, though. Don't you be getting any ideas, big man. To tell you the truth, she's... Hmm. So this is the guy. The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> hey, Baldhead, set this kid straight. Ooh. Allow me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big gob on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can you? <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you, Desert Claw. Hey! So you're Desert Claw? Hmm. Wait, you're... One and only, first mate, Muncha! Uh... Is the captain still napping? Oh, he can be such a pain. Oh! The Desert Claw has a shrewd look about him. That's what the captain would have said. I'm sure of it. When the captain's not around, I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh... Okay. Excellent! Now that that's out of the way, you're an official crew member on the Dorganach! Alright! Now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, nothing can stop us! The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking! <sighs> going? I'm not sure. Maybe to some planet somewhere. Really? What do they have on other planets? Well, all sorts of things. Like what? What kind of things do you mean? I've never been myself, so I don't really know. Oh, Raul, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I happen to like this planet. As long as I can live here, I'll be satisfied. Really? Then I want to go into space. I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like out there. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it'll be super cool. And when I come back, I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? Uh, uh, it's nothing. So what do we do now? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now we head for Zerard. Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye, aye! Your instructions will follow. Now, I've got some lunch to eat, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow! You can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. 
I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? <laughs>